Sophomore summer is a term when uh, sophomores or rising juniors have to stay on campus. It's a really fun time to hang out and enjoy the nice weather and take some interesting classes. We get to be at Dartmouth for the whole summer. A lot of your friends kind of go, why on earth would you want to do that? But in reality, it's tons of fun and just a beautiful time of year to be in Hanover. So with engineers, I think there's definitely a lot more times when it's like crunch time, you need to get things done. But there is time definitely to have fun. Um, it's harder, you have to plan it out more. But yeah, we do other things. <laughs> Part of the magic of sophomore summer is that it's just your class here. So there's much fewer students on campus than usual and you get a chance to really bond as a class. The weather is kind of perfect. We spend, I don't think I've gone a day without swimming in the river or really just enjoying the outside in some way that's a little bit more difficult in the winter. Outside of my academics, I'm involved with Ultimate Frisbee and the Dartmouth Outing Club uh, and Within the outing club, I really like to go canoeing, rock climbing, mountain biking, and hiking as much as I can. One of the things that the DOC does each sophomore summer is organize sophomore trips. There are hiking trips. Um, I went on a, a mountain biking trip. There's also there was like a horseback riding trip, kayaking, canoeing. I was actually a leader this year on a trip that I invented newly. We got to play outside for a few days, which was really, really fun. I think it's really easy to just get off campus from there. Um, so in my free time, if I'm at there, basically I transition directly into having fun. <laughs> it's sometimes easy to forget that sophomore summer is a normal term and we do have a lot of homework to do. But I think that, especially being an engineer, you get so used to your work club that we're efficient and we can get to the river even quicker than anyone else, especially being so close.